Alright, what's going on people? This is Hubmaster Flex in the building. What's going on? As you can see, who the, who the fuck is hitting me up on Facebook? Jesus Christ, leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to fucking do a video here. Anyways. Um I've had these GTX 970s and I've been beasting all my games in 4K and over 60 frames per second. It's freaking amazing. I'm actually going to make a video later on with my benchmarks and stuff. And just to uh, kind of show you my screen resolution, it says right there 3840 by 2160p, which is in fact uh, 4K. And that's why everything's like so small and shit. But, anyways, on to this uh, topic of the video that I was actually going to talk about. Let's zoom this in. See when we that's a, that's master race problems right here for you guys. Like you gotta like, you know, zoom in on shit in 4K because everything is so fucking small. But you can't do that in some apps. Like for example, like you know, Steam. I'm trying to read what people fucking say and it's all small and shit. But anyways, as you can see here, Far Cry 4. Early reports say that the game is well optimized and it runs like motherfucking buck butter, butter. <laughs> um, which is a good thing. I fucking love this because um, I'll put up some gameplay footage of Far Cry 3. I am I haven't really played much of Far Cry 3. I just recently installed it and started playing it in preparation for the fourth game. And I don't think the stories are related, but. I'm playing that game at uh, anywhere from 70 to 90 frames per second, completely maxed out at 4K resolution. It is fucking insane. I love it. Um, and based on this article right here, I assume Far Cry 4 will be no different for me. I will be maxing this game out day one at 4K. And well over 60 frames per second. And these are what I call master race problems. 4K monitors or even downscale versions, uh, they they only run at 60 hertz, which allows you to see only up to 60 frames per second. Any anything over that is pretty much irrelevant. It's not noticeable. They have to make 4K monitors with 120 hertz refresh rate so I could enjoy actually seeing those 90 to 100 frames per second I get at 4k this is insane your consoles are not even on anywhere close to this fucking level I mean why tell me what is the point of me buying a console can anybody tell me I'm I mean I'm gonna buy a ps4 simply for like uncharted but the way that's turning out it's not coming out anytime soon um, they don't even have like a date for the game. They're just like, oh, 2015 without any quarters or anything. Basically, they don't even know when the fuck that game's coming out. They're just saying that just to say it. I wouldn't be surprised if Uncharted 4 is, uh, delayed until, uh, 2016. That would be a fairly realistic, uh, expectation for me anyways. But other than that, like, uh... There's nothing on consoles that's worth having a console for, and I actually I can't even I can't even play games in 1080p anymore. I can't. It's like the 1080p peasant race, and then the thing about it is that consoles can even maintain a 1080 frames per second. Oh, sorry, 1080p while maintaining 60 frames per second. A lot of the fucking games on next gen are 900p, and they can't do suck fucking 60 frames per second. So, what's the point of me buying a console? Is there even anything on consoles worth owning? I mean, Xbox One has a Forza, right? Forza Horizon 2. I really like uh, that game. I played it over my friend's house. And I, and I actually have um, some footage that I'll upload one of these days from that game. I, I love drifting and shit in that game. Man, this video is going all over the place, isn't it? Anyways, consoles are fucking irrelevant, alright? There are, they have no games. Forza Horizon 2 is the only game I want, and that game is the only game on the Xbox 
which is not worth me buying a fucking Xbox for one fucking game, so it's not gonna fucking happen. Um, Far Cry 4, I'm getting this game for free, by the way, so, because since I bought these GTX 970s, I got two codes from Amazon to redeem, one per each game, and I get to choose between three free games. Uh, one of them, I'm definitely gonna um, redeem for Far Cry 4, so I'm gonna get that game for free on launch. Um, and then I get to choose between Ass, Unity, and, uh, The Crew. Now, we all know, like, what kind of disaster Ass Unity is, but, you know, I mean, hopefully it will get patched anytime soon. Um, and The Crew, I haven't played, I'm not part of the beta, so I don't know how it is, but just based off the Steam reviews and recommendations, out of 390 reviews and recommendations, uh... 360 like five or something along those lines 365 out of like 390 are positive reviews that recommend the game while only 20 of them or so do not recommend the game versus like assassin's creed where there's like multiple fucking shits uh let's see actually i can, we can actually look that up right now let's look at the recommendations for uh for Ass Creed. Let's go to Assassin's Creed Unity here. On Steam. Yeah, whatever. Enter. And, um... Look at this. Mixed reviews. Out of 2,700 reviews on Steam, only 1,300 are positive, and 1,400 are completely negative, and they do not recommend the game. Meanwhile, we got the crew, which is only in beta right now, so all these reviews are just based off the beta. The beta has very positive user reviews on Steam, so out of 386 user reviews, let's see, 300, yeah, like I said, 365 reviews out of 380 something recommend the game, and 21 do not. That game does look epic though. Um, the graphics are subpar, but a lot of people are saying there's like an open world Need for Speed game. You got the whole map of the United States to play around with, so, I mean, I, I'm interested in shit like that. I love driving games and fucking playing online. That's why I wanted Forza, so this is the closest thing I'll get to, like, a Forza Horizon 2 on a PC, so I definitely want to check that out. But... What guy? What games would you guys pick out of the three games? If you had two games to choose out of three free games, Ass Unity, Far Cry 4, and The Crew, which two of those games would you guys pick? Help me out in the comments. I'd fucking appreciate that. So, but I'm real pumped for Far Cry 4, anyways. As I was saying, here's the article. Um, I don't know if you guys fucking care for it, but that's my fucking whatever two cents on this bullshit, son. So all you peasant motherfuckers. Start weeping, and by the way, the PS4 version of this game only runs like at 30 frames per second, and I don't know if I don't know if it's 1080p or not, but I know Digital Foundry had a video on it, and it was only 30 frames. I started laughing. This next gen is not even fucking like last gen anymore. This is it's it's pathetic. It's not even a comparison. I don't know. Consoles are garbage. Same as movies. This video is already 90 minutes long. Uh, all right, man. Peace out, bitches. Bang, bang. And I'll upload some fucking gameplay footages and shit. Which, by the way, I can't even record in 4K. Which sucks. Because, uh... I guess 4K is too demanding to record. Unless you have, you know, like a 6-core, 12-core fucking hyper-threaded processor with 64 gigabytes of fucking RAM. And, like, 30 SSDs in a RAID 0 configuration. Otherwise... Yeah, if you don't have a rendering PC, you can forget about recording gameplay in 4K. But, that's about it. Peace, bitches. <laughs>